Well, near the Concord Road covered bridge, the chains that protect the beams that protect the bridge are getting a makeover today with new materials and a new design. We're trying to upgrade the actual design of the covered bridge pipes. Um, the pipes we're using right now is a PVC pipe, and when they hit together, they make a lot of noise, and they're actually very fragile. So when cars come through at a high rate of speed, they're not slowing down. They're actually damaging and breaking the PVC pipes. So what we're doing with the new design, the ones we have right here, it's actually a rubber-made, like thick rubber. Um, it's actually built to get ran over by cars uh, for safety for schools. So we're actually drilling holes in them, bolting them up, and they're actually gonna be two pieces instead of one solid piece. So what we're hoping for is for this design, the three piece sections will actually give leeway for vehicle seven to 10 foot to push through at a slower rate of speed, not damage it, and pull through fine to be able to access some of the residents and be able to turn around. And then the secondary top layer won't move with the bottom layer is what we're hoping for. Our biggest problem with the covered bridge right now is on the Smyrna side. Uh, the Smyrna side has a straightaway and cars just don't want to slow down. Uh, the speed limit is posted uh, not even 100 feet from the covered bridge. Poles uh, on the Smyrna side at 35 miles per hour. If they hit it at 35, the poles wouldn't get damaged. They wouldn't nearly wrap around or tangle up as much. But vehicles aren't slowing down. They're hitting them at 55, 60 miles per hour. And that's what's causing the damage to the PVC pipes. So even though it has been a bit adventurous down here, one thing these pipes have done, they protected the bridge. The bridge has not been hit since these went up.